Hola, bienvenidos de nuevo. Hoy vamos a hacer los adjetivos demonstrativos y repasar todo para el próximo examen. Today we're going to do demonstrative adjectives and review everything for the next exam. Demonstrative adjectives in English would be this and these, that and those. In Spanish, vamos a ver, let's see. Repite, este bolígrafo, this pen, este bolígrafo. Ese bolígrafo, that pen, ese bolígrafo. Aquel bolígrafo, that pen way over there, aquel bolígrafo. Okay. Esta pulsera, this bracelet. Esa pulsera, that bracelet. Aquella pulsera, that bracelet way over there. Bien. Estos papeles, these papers, estos papeles, esos papeles, those papers, esos papeles, aquellos papeles, the papers over there, way over there, aquellos papeles. Bien, finalmente, estas llaves, these keys, estas llaves, esas llaves, those keys. Esas llaves. Aquellas llaves. Those keys way over there. Over there. Aquellas llaves. Muy bien. Vamos a ver lo que, lo que son los, demos, los adjetivos demonstrativos. Repite. Este. Ese. Aquel. Esta. Esa. Aquella. Estos. Esos. Aquellos. Estas, esas, aquellas. Do you get the idea? Um, this pen, that pen, that pen over there. This bracelet, that bracelet, that bracelet over there. These papers, those papers, those papers over there. These keys, those keys, those keys over there. If you notice, you can remember, this and these have the T's. Este, estos, esta, estas are this and these, and they have T's. That and those do not have T's. Ese, esos, esa, esas. Okay. Vamos a practicar un poquito. Let's practice a little bit. ¿Quiere comprar este cochecito? Would you like to buy this little car? ¿Quiere comprar este cochecito? You can say, sí, quiero comprar ese. Yes, I want to buy that car. If we don't spe specify that it's ese coche, we know we're talking about the car, we can just say, sí, quiero comprar ese. I want to buy that one. So when you have, when the noun is not there, you're going to add an accent mark. That's why there's an accent mark on ese. Sí, quiero comprar ese. Or you could say, no, no quiero comprar ese coche. Prefiero aquel. Notice there's an accent mark on aquel because you don't have coche here. So you're saying, I want to buy that one over there. Okay. ¿Quiere comprar estas revistas? ¿Quiere comprar estas revistas? Sí, quiero comprar esas revistas. Yes, I want to buy those magazines. Um, or you can say, no, no quiero esas. Prefiero aquellas. I don't want those. I prefer those others over there. Continuemos. ¿Quiere comprar esta muñeca? Do you want to buy this doll? No, no quiero comprar esa. I don't want to buy that one. Notice there's an accent mark. No quiero comprar esa. Or sí, quiero comprar esa. Or no, no quiero esa muñeca. Prefiero aquella. I don't want that doll. I prefer that one over there. Okay. ¿Quiere comprar estos caramelos? Do you want to buy these candies? Sí, quiero comprar esos. Yes, I want to buy those. Right? Uh, or no, no quiero esos. Prefiero aquellos. No, I don't want those. I prefer those other ones over there. Prefiero aquellos. Bien? Now, if you're just talking about what is this, you don't have a specific noun, you're just saying, what is this? You say, ¿qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? Esto es un, cone un conejo de chocolate. This is a chocolate bunny. What is this? It's a chocolate bunny. ¿Qué es esto? Es un conejo de chocolate. 
Y eso and that, that over there, ¿qué es eso? Es un rascacielos. It's a skyscraper. Es un rascacielos. A skyscraper. Ok. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a repasar un poquito. Um, primero, las clases. Remember we learned materias, cl classes and courses and majors? Ok. Let's answer the question. ¿Qué materias tienes tú? ¿Qué materias tienes tú? Or you could say, ¿qué clases tomas? So to answer, you're going to say either tengo, tengo, and then write your classes. For example, tengo inglés. Español y química. Tengo inglés, español y química. Also, we can answer the question, ¿cuál es tu especialización? Remember that long word? Okay. Then to answer, your major is me. Especialización es el, por ejemplo, o es la, es el, um, el derecho, por ejemplo, o es la historia, history, ¿ok? Son ejemplos, algunos ejemplos. Muy bien, ahora vamos a ver los números. Now, take a look at the numbers. Let's review the numbers from 100 to 1,000. Ready? Repite. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Remember, it's not un mil, it's just mil. Let's practice a little. I'll say a number. I want you to write the number that I say. Okay, primer numero, first number. 525, 525. ¿Puedes escribirlo? Can you write it? ¿Lo puedes escribir? Vamos a ver. 500, remember it's 500, 525. Muy bien, ahora. 798, 798, 798, 999, 999, 999, 832, 832, 832, 115, 115, 115, 1000, remember use the period instead of the comma, 1000, 2000, Now we can do dates. Let's just do a couple dates that we did before. Um, can we write out this date? Mil cuatrocientos noventa y dos. Mil cuatrocientos noventa y dos. Es el año del viaje de Cristóbal Colón, ¿no? It's a, it's a, what happened in 1492? Christopher Columbus traveled to the Americas. Okay, how about, I'm just going to do a couple, okay? 1936 in Spanish would be 1936. Okay? Now, you, for mil, you just say mil. You don't say un mil, there's a mil. But for a million, you do say un millón. Un millón 
dos millones. Now I'm going to give you a number and I want you to write out the number. It's a uh, high number. Okay, can you write that number? Bien. ¿Lo tienes? Bien. Un millón setecientos doce mil seven hundred and twelve thousand setecientos doce mil trescientos veinticinco Okay, un millón setecientos doce mil trescientos veinticinco. Let's try one more. Uno más. Can you write that number out? Escribe el número. Okay. Cinco millones quinientos. Remember, five hundred is quinientos sesenta y tres mil doscientos diez. That's a Z. Doscientos diez. Cinco millones quinientos. 63,210. Fantástico. Hay que practicar los números un poquito, ¿no? Muy bien. Ahora, los adjetivos posesivos. ¿De quién es este bolígrafo? Whose pen is this? ¿De quién es? ¿Es tu bolígrafo? No. Es mi bolígrafo. ¿Sí? ¿De quién son estas llaves? ¿De quién son? Whose keys are these? ¿Son tus llaves? Are they your keys? No, son mis llaves. Muy bien. ¿De quién es esta clase? Esta clase es nuestra clase. It's our class. So let's just look at these once more. Repite. Mi, mis. Tu, tus. Su, sus. Nuestro, nuestros. Nuestra, nuestras. Su, Sus. And those are the possessive adjectives. Bien. Ahora, we learned the verb ir. Do you remember how to conjugate the verb ir? The verb ir is to go. Yo voy. Tú vas. Él, ella, usted va. Nosotros vamos. Vosotros vais. Ellos van. Repite, voy, vas, va, vamos, vais, van. And remember, we can use ear to say I'm going to a place, but you can also use ear to talk about I'm going to do something. So I could ask you, ¿qué vas a hacer este fin de semana? What are you going to do? Remember, it's ir plus a plus the verb. What are you going to do this weekend? Voy a estudiar. I'm going to study. Voy a mirar una película. I'm going to watch a movie. Then you can also say places you're going to go. Voy a la biblioteca. I'm going to the library. Voy al cine. Remember, if you have a l together, it becomes al. Voy al cine. Okay. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a ver una práctica de ser y estar. Now we're going to do a little practice quiz on ser and estar. If you remember, 
In general, Sarah is used for more permanent characteristics, for example, your personality, um, uh, physical characteristics, things like origin, religion, um, profession, possession, time, all those things are with Sarah. And if you remember, a star is for more um, emo temporary feelings, for example, emotional states, physical and emotional states, like to be happy, to be sick, and also location. A star is used for location of anything, buildings, people, whatever, except for this one exception, you use ser for the location of an event. La fiesta es en mi casa. The party is at my house. You use ser instead of a star. That's the only exception to that rule. Okay, so let's take a look at this practice. Okay, numero uno. Mi abuela, my grandmother, is from Escocia, Scotland. So that would be her origin. So it would be the verb ser. If you remember how to conjugate the verb ser, let's conjugate the verb ser really quick. Ser, yo soy, tu eres, el es, nosotros somos, vosotros sois, ellos son. Okay. So we're talking about mi abuela, so we're going to choose es. Mi abuela es de Escocia. Bien, número dos. Nosotros, we are in Spanish class. That's our location. So what are you going to use? You're going to use a star. Let's conjugate a star. Estoy, estás, está. Estamos, estáis, están. Notice the accent marks on the verb estar. It's here, 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 and here. Okay, so nosotros would be estamos. Estamos. El niño, travieso means mischievous. El niño, so he's a mischievous, that's so his personality. El niño es muy travieso. Remember how, which one you use for married? Casado means married. Are you married? Estás casado tú? Número cinco. This is time. We use ser for time. It's two o'clock, exactly two o'clock, and we have class now. Son... Las dos en punto y tenemos clase ahora. Mi hermano, my brother, is alto y rubio. He's tall and blonde. Physical characteristics, S. Um, are you a little bit sick? Uh, are you a little bit sick? Estás enfermito tú? Do you not feel well? Estás enfermito tú? That's temporary physical state, so it's a star. Yo... I'm nationality, North American, yo soy norteamericano. Esa muchacho, muchacha, that girl, esa muchacha, is my best friend. That's identification. What is she? She is my best friend. Es mi mejor amiga. Mi casa is in the center of the city. Once again, that's location. So it's going to be esta. Mi casa está en el centro de la ciudad. Now, a bonus question. ¿Cómo estás ahora mismo? Ahora mismo means right now. How do you feel right now? That's what this question is asking. ¿Cómo estás ahora mismo? You can, of course, you can say bien or mal that we learned at the beginning, but now you have other adjectives you can use. Estoy, you're going to say estoy. Contenta, pero cansada. I'm happy, but tired. Estoy contenta, pero cansada. Okay? Bien, ahora, el verbo tener. We did the verb tener. Let's conjugate the verb tener. Yo tengo, tú tienes, él tiene, nosotros tenemos, vosotros tenéis, ellos tienen. 
Repite, tengo, tienes, tiene, tenemos, tenéis, tienen. Okay, we use tener for, for um, possession. ¿Tienes un carro? Do you have a car? Sí, tengo un carro. Yes, I have a car. We use it for, remember, for age. ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? Tengo tantos años. And we have the expressions that we learn. Tengo mucho frío. I'm very cold. Um, tengo hambre. I'm hungry. ¿Bien? Muy bien. Ahora, la familia. Aquí tengo una pequeña rompecabezas. I have a little, it's almost like a puzzle. You have to figure out the relationship. Uh, for example, la madre de mi madre es. The mother of my mother, that would be your grandmother, right? So how do you say grandmother? It has to be feminine. In Spanish, it would be la madre de mi madre es mi abuela. Mi abuela. El hijo de mi hermano es, the son of my brother is, mi sobrino. Bien. Los hijos de mis tíos son, the children of my aunt and uncle, or my aunts and, aunts and uncles, are my, mis, this is plural, mis primos, my cousins. La hija de mi madre, think about it, the daughter of my mother would be my sister. Mi hermana. El esposo de mi hermana es the husband of my sister. Do you remember this one? Es mi cuñado. That's an ñ, mi cuñado. Los padres de mi esposo son... We may not have had this one before, but it's a good word to know. Uh, mis suegros. Mis suegros are my in-laws. My in-laws, my mother and father-in-law. Direct object pronouns. Remember the direct object pronoun is something that receives the action directly from the verb. It answers the question, what or who? For example, compro el libro. What do I buy? I buy the book. So you're going to replace the direct object with a direct object pronoun. El libro is masculine and singular, and it means it. So you're going to replace it with lo. And lo, the, remember it comes right before the conjugated verb, or right before, lo compro. If you want to say, I'm not going to buy it, no lo compro. Lo compro is I buy it. We already know we're talking about the book, so we say lo compro. Voy a vender mi casa. I'm going to sell my house. What am I going to sell? I'm going to sell my house. Mi casa is feminine and singular, so it's going to be la. And remember, it can go in front of the conjugated verb, la voy a vender. Or it can come at the end of the infinitive, voy a Venderla. All connected there. Voy a venderla. Necesito los papeles. ¿Qué necesito? What do I need? Necesito los papeles. Los necesito. Busco las llaves. Buscar means to, be look, to look for. I'm looking for the keys. What am I looking for? Las busco. I'm looking for them. Them and them. Las busco. ¿Está claro? Bien. Now I have another little practice quiz on stem changing verbs. Un día típico. A typical day. Un día típico. You have to choose the correct verb and conjugate the verb correctly. So you, know, you not only know, have to know how to conjugate them, but you have to know what these verbs mean. And you should be making note cards uh, for vocabulary words and verbs as we go. Me llamo Pepito. Por la mañana, in the morning, I have English class. I have would be tener. So it would be yo tengo. La clase 
is at 8.30, which of these words makes sense? What makes sense is the class begins at 8.30. La clase comienza a las ocho y media. After class, después de la clase, mis amigos y yo. Mis amigos y yo is like nosotros, right? If I'm talking about my friends and I, it's we. Nosotros, what do we, we play basketball in the gymnasium. Jugamos. Remember, if it's in the uh, nosotros or the vosotros form, the stem doesn't change. Here it changes, comienza, here it doesn't change. Al mediodía, yo, I go back home to rest. So to go back would be volver. So it's O-T-U-E, so it's vuelvo. O-T-U-E, vuelvo. A casa para descansar. En casa... I eat a sandwich with my girlfriend, so that our one that's left is almorzar, which means to have lunch or to eat lunch. Yo almuerzo. That's another O-T-U-E, O-T-U-E, O-T-U-E. Repite, tengo, comienza, jugamos, vuelvo, almuerzo. Segunda parte. Después de almorzar, mi novia... She takes a nap. In Spanish, she would say she sleeps a nap. Mi novia duerme. La siesta mientras yo miro la tele. Yo, I, this one's a little tricky. The best answer is prefer. I prefer Latin American soap operas. Yo prefiero. That's an E to I E. Yo prefiero. Las telenovelas latinoamericanas. Por la tarde voy a trabajar en un restaurante mexicano. En el restaurante los clientes, okay, the, the, the clients, they don't serve the food, they don't want the food, they order the food, order the food. Los, the food, excuse me. Los clientes piden la comida y yo sirvo. Those both. Both of those are E to I stem changers. The E changes to an I. El trabajo no está mal. The work isn't bad. Pero yo, I want to be a doctor. Yo quiero. That's an important verb. Yo quiero, E to I E. Ser médico. I want to be a doctor. Por eso estudio todos los días. That's why I study every day. Now, if you remember, we have two words in Spanish which mean to know. Let's review those verbs. Saber. Versus conocer. Remember? And they're both irregular in the yo form. Yo sé. Remember, we learned at the beginning. No sé, no lo sé, I don't know. Sé. Sabes. Sabe. Sabemos, sabéis, saben. Okay? And we use, we use saber, what do we use saber for? We use saber for knowing some information. For example, say tu número de teléfono, I know your telephone number. Or to have the ability to do something, to, to know how to do something. Sé esquiar muy bien. I know how to ski very well, for example. Uh, conocer. Yo conozco. Tú conoces. Conocen. Conocemos. Conocéis. Conocen. And conocer is reserved for people, places, and maybe to be familiar about a topic. For example, conozco a Enrique. Conozco a Enrique. You have an a here because it's a person. Remember, that's the personal a. It's also used for places. Conozco Nueva York. I know New York. I've been there. I'm familiar with it. And uh, conocemos. A uh, la arte de Frida Kahlo. We know, we're familiar with Frida Kahlo's work.
También para el examen tienes que saber sobre la geografía de España y todo sobre Cervantes. Also for the exam, you should know the geography of Spain that we did and we talked about Cervantes. Muy bien, suerte, nos vemos en el, en el examen.